All right, today we're gonna to be talking about how to think about paying for deals and how you're actually already paying for deals even if you don't realize it. Um, so we're gonna start from the basics. As a investor or as a venture capitalist, it is your job to invest money into startups and then when that startup exits, you know, ultimately IPOs or gets bought, you make a ton of money and you make your LPs a ton of money or more so than vice versa. You make your LPs a ton of money and you get some of that as well. Now, it's not that simple though, right? If you invested in Uber right before their IPO, you got way less of a return on your investment than if you invested in the seed stage. Now, ultimately, what, is ha what happened from the seed stage to the A, B, you know, C, all the way until the IPO is they were de-risked. So it became a less risky investment, but ultimately the earlier investors got paid for their risk by having larger multiples. So you as an investor should ultimately think about how much you're paying to get into a startup. Now in a best case scenario, if a founder starts a company, it's kind of your job to build up a reputation where they know that you invest in seed stage uh, companies and they go right to you. They go, Hey, Mr. Mrs. VC, I'm raising money. Will you invest? And guess what? This is amazing. You did your job. You don't have to pay any extra cost for that investment because you had the direct connection to that founder, Mazel Tov. But it's not always that simple. Not every investment that investors make come direct, right? You know, sometimes investors invest, um, or sorry, investors look at a demo day at an accelerator and invest out of there. So how do you think about this? Well, let's look at our favorite accelerator, Y Combinator. So you have all these startups, right? That YC invests in, right? Let's make this YC. YC gets, gets a hell of a deal on them. They invest at approximately a $2 million uh, a $2 million post money valuation. And what happens is they do whatever they do in those three months. And then they have this, this thing called demo day where all those, all those startups pitch their company. But what are the costs of these companies, right? The costs are now it's, it's 10 million, right? It's $10 million post money or it's 11 million or it's, 15 million, right? So ultimately, because YC was the one that found them first in the supply chain, they got to invest at 2 million. And what you pay is ultimately for the introduction to that founder by YC. And the difference in what you pay is valuation. So no, you may not be paying cash, but what you're paying is a much larger entry point, which lowers your multiple. So although it's, you can't really see it until the, until the exit event, you are paying my combinator a ton of money, possibly millions of dollars just to get their introduction. So, so I just want you to realize that when you invest in a Y Combinator company, you are, you are paying Y Combinator for the intro and you're paying a lot of money. Now let's keep going, right? That was loud. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. So let's say you are a seed stage investor and a founder ultimately is right here. A founder gets a couple of angels to invest at a, let's say, $3 million, $3 million plus money valuation. That's $3 million. And then they go on to their next round and they, they go to you, the VC, and they now are raising at a $8 million post money valuation. $8 million. You are now paying the difference of that $5 million post money valuation. You're getting less than, or I guess you could have gotten twice the multiple once they exit, you know, of forgetting dilution and all, all that fun stuff, but you're not because you didn't get to them first. So what we're talking about here is there is a premium put on getting to the founder first. As you can see here, this is, this is great, right? This is founder finds the VC, no premium, it's just cash money. Maybe this post money valuation was two million. 
Boom. This is best case scenario. But that doesn't happen every single time. Sometimes you invest in a Y Combinator company. You pay for that intro in the amount of massive difference in post money valuation. Sometimes you're going to invest in a company that already raised angel rent money, which and you're going to be paying for the fact that the angels took the more risk. So the reason I'm making this video is to help you understand, although you may not be paying cash for the introductions that you are getting, you are absolutely paying. And we are talking about the difference of millions and sometimes billions of dollars. So next time you want to invest at a company through an accelerator or through an angel or through another source, think, why didn't I find that founder myself first? Because if you did, you'd be getting a much better deal. Thanks for listening.